Ron Spellman is to become head of the Children's Centre's Board of Trustees. You'll be familiar with the name. Uh, it's uh, been sort of in the finance sector for quite a few years now, formerly Government's Director of Financial Services, a background in banking and insurance. Good morning, Mr Spellman. Good morning, John. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, the Children's Centre has had its difficulties in the last few years, loss of certain services, the withdrawal of early year services, the loss of some 20 of its 95 staff. And a, a phrase was used, it was undergoing a refocus of its model to ensure it remains relevant. Has it reached the relevant stage now? It's reached uh, the state of relevance. My role as uh, chair of the trustees is to assist the management team to take that further now. During the last um, year, um, Fiona Dawson and her excellent team at... She's the chief executive, obviously. She is, yeah, at the Children's Centre, have focused on resizing the organisation and refocusing. The staff have done a tremendous job, but the most important thing to focus on is putting children first and... I really hope to help this next stage of putting children first. What do you bring to the organisation, backing uh, your your background in banking and insurance? What do you bring to a children's centre? I hope I bring um, an economic focus. Um, The change of government contracts and also the refocusing of the future did mean a financial challenge to the organisation. With the skills that I have um, learnt over a number of years in the financial services sector, I hope to apply those to the charitable sector and ensure that the Children's Centre continues for another 150 years successfully. I know a few years ago it changed its name from Isle of Man Children's Centre to Children's Centre. What was the significance of that? Um, you've got me on that one, John. Um, I was familiar with their name change, but uh, not the circumstances behind it. What's your relationship with the government? Now, um, I have no formal relationship with the government no, at but all. Do you mean your personally? I mean uh, the Children's Centre's relationship with the government. Oh, I see. Um, the... The final part of our relationship actually finishes in the next few weeks, which is the... Um, in October, isn't it? It's October, yeah. The, fla- uh, the family planning services. And um, we're working closely with government to hand those services back um, to government, which is a nice, clean transfer. And um, then we have no interaction with government. Yeah, I think uh, you cut down your staff from 95, you, 22, I think, something like 20 staff left. You've now, what, got about 70 staff working for you, something like that? Just no, no, we've got substantially less. Once the um, the family um, placement services are passed back to government, um, our final structure will be a circa 20 um, within that structure. So as we've changed the, the income from the government contracts, we've now focused back on the core services of the Children's Centre, which is the nurture of children, assisting them to be what they can be. I was going to ask you that. What do you see as the future direction of the centre? Um, it is a vital service to the local economy. Um, there's three types of abuse that happen with children, physical, emotional, neglect and sexual. Our responsibility is to provide a safe place for children where we can avoid those type of um, issues happening, but also be an early warning. Not all children fit in our society today. If you leave the statistics on either self-abuse or bullying or um, people falling out of the education system, this Children's Centre plays a vital role providing a safe space for those children. Is the Isle of Man a safe place for children generally? Um, I think we're quite complacent about how we focus on the issues of children, that we're immune to issues that are experienced in the UK and further afield. Of course we're not. What our responsibility is to spot those warning signs early, work with those children to ensure that they have a place in society and we make it a safe place for children. As head of the uh, uh, Board of Trustees, what's your um, day-to-day feeling? What's your your day-to-day involvement with the Children's Centre? These are early days at the moment, so I've only taken over in the last few weeks. Um, but so far, there's been something every day, <laughs> which is uh, which is which is good fun. I mean, do you drop in and, and say what's happening? Tell me what's happening, and, and etc. I maintain contact probably on a daily basis on the issues that's going on. My role, I see, is to assist the excellent staff, the management team within the organisation to deal with those problems. Everything from property to fundraising to events that's coming up to speeches to um, PR. <laughs> Uh, my responsibility is to be there to assist them, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Uh, and now you've refocused your model. Uh, any expansion plans? Uh, not at this moment in time. What we're focusing on is doing the core service, is putting children, families, and young people first. John Spellman, thank you very much of the Children's Centre. Thank you very much for thank joining you, us this morning. Thank-